So Trish, we're going to be creating some awesome things. And how do we get those things from our computers, from our webcams, from all those things, and to our teacher to demonstrate our learning? Uh, we're going to have so much fun today, Darren, because we're going to show you how we can use Google Classroom to hand in those extra things like images, audio, video, so your teacher can see it. And we're not just stuck with pencil and paper. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take you to Google Classroom, and we're going to show you the two best buttons in all of Google Classroom, and only students can see them. So right now, I invite you to go to classroom.google.com, and you're going to be finding one of your Google Classrooms that you have with your teacher. Now, I'm lucky because my bestie has invited me to his Google Classroom as a student so I can show you that secret menu inside the student work. When I go inside my classroom, we know that we have the stream, and that's where we're going to have our class discussions and chats. But I'm going to go on over to my Classwork tab. When I'm here, I'm going to see all of my different assignments that my teacher has given me. When I click on one of those assignments, it's really important to actually do the actual little step of saying, view assignment. That's going to show me where those buttons are. When I'm in here, I'm going to see all of the instructions my teacher has given me, any additional materials that will help me with my assignment, maybe like videos or links. And then on the right hand side, I'm going to see your work. This is where any templates that my teacher has given me to complete attached to this assignment will be waiting for me. But here it is, Darren. Get ready. This is the feature shot right here. Add or create. Yeah, and you that's know, an important button right in, in the app if you're using it on an iPad, if you're using it on a phone. That add or create button lets you take pictures of from your camera roll. It's, the add or create button is the best thing about Classroom, in my opinion. Well, and what's fantastic, oh, we can stop having to email our teacher things and things get lost in the shuffle. We don't have to print. I don't know about you, Darren. I don't have any ink in my house. I'm not printing anything. So I click add or create and what I'm going to see is my options. I can see that I can add something from my Google Drive. I can add a link or another file and I can even create one of the Google apps right from here. And it attaches it with my name on it to this assignment. So what we're going to be doing at our next pause is we're going to be clicking the Google Drive button. We're going to be using our friend Recent, and you're going to attach something from your drive to an assignment you have, maybe like a really creative owl you just made. When I say insert, it's going to attach it to this assignment, and my teacher already has it. Yeah. So, oh, and sometimes we think, oh, do I have to press the turn in button? It's already shared. You can press that in if you have maybe a due date or if the teacher wants to track that, but you don't have to press that for it to be shared. It's already shared. It's in a folder. That's so. right. It's their turn. So they're going to get to do this now. We're going to have a little pause and you are going to be able to open that assignment, click on add or create and add something from your drive. Awesome. Ready? See, Let's see, go. Let's do it. See you in the next video.